Howdy folks, BullerRat66 back with a little more Diablo 3 gameplay. Let's see, where we left off, we had just picked up Zoltan Kool's head, and we have to take it back to Adria. It is time. Leah, cast the spell as I taught you. I live again. Zoltan Kool. We need you to activate the Black Soul Stone. We would use it to trap the last two Lords of Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I know your voice, stranger. It has haunted me in death, just as it commanded me in life. Tyriel. I am, but now mortal. Ah, fate is whimsical. I will give you the Black Soul Stone, but in exchange, I must be made whole once again. You were treacherous before. How do I know you won't be an even greater threat once you've been fully revived? You don't. So, you must ask yourself. How much would you risk to save this wretched world? Everything. Ah, so be it. To begin, you will need to retrieve my blood from the dungeons where it has been hidden away. You will find them in the desolate sands beyond the aqueducts. I'm going to go with you. We should bring Cool's head with us. Maybe he'll have something useful to say. I'll put him in your bag. Okay, so now we're going to be going after Zoltan Kool's blood. So, we're just going to have to take a look at our inventory while we're here. I think we already sold everything just before we signed off, so we're good to go. You're an interesting one, aren't you? I wonder if your friends know what you truly are. What are you babbling about? Oh, all will be revealed in time. <laughs> We've already done quite a bit here already. Uh, we can do the stuff again. Kind of a waste. Well, not really, because you gain a lot of gold and stuff that you had gained previously, but for some reason I'm catching quite a bit of lag, and I'm not sure why. As you notice, this is where we went to go get his head, so we don't have to go that way again for sure. I thought I saw a boss over here. You are more like your uncle than you know. Maybe, but they got to have books on the Black Soul Stone in Asmodan. Something that will help me understand his theories. Perhaps we took him out without realizing it. No, I will not do that. Okay, folks, you just witnessed me dying for the very first time in this playthrough. <laughs> I neglected to take care of those little dudes that explode before worrying about the yellow guy. So now I've made my first mistake in the game.
They just keep on coming. Are you guys done yet? Such a pain in the buttocks. Well, maybe you shouldn't lag so far behind there, little woman. You wouldn't be getting hit by all those. And yes, by the way, I do talk to the characters in the game the same way I do when I'm actually playing the game for you guys. And I figured if I'm going to be talking to the the characters in a game, I might as well be doing it with other people can hear me do so. <laughs> you will not enter the That's what you think. This cannot be opened yet. I can open this gate for you. <laughs> Emperor Hakan. No time for pleasantries. I think I may have uncovered Bilal's assumed identity. I'm very close. But here's what you need to know. To find Kool's blood, we need to get through the aqueduct. There are two levers that control the entrance beneath the waterfall. Alright, so we only have one. So this must be I don't like the way. The look of this place. Something was here before us. Likely demons. It's Belial. So long as he lives, all of Chaldean is under siege. Uncle Deckard theorized that the demon lords leave demons in their wake, much like us leaving footprints. Do you believe that? Yes. The more I study my uncle's books, the more I realize that even I took his wisdom for granted. We set out in one week's time into the desolate sands to search for Kool's hidden archives. None of us have any idea what to expect. How far has Kuhn's madness driven? Not enough hatred. How much power has he accumulated in his mad quest? I can only hope we are not too late. I always have to watch out for the poison. Even though it did have a dangerous side. I can't tell you how many times I had to drag him away from an army of skeletons because he was fixated on some dusty old tapestry. Still kind of a trial of an error, trial and error, not trial of an error, to see which way we need to go. Those corpses have quite a stench. I need more hatred to do that. I should 
should have seen that coming. Do not worry. We vanquished them, did we not? Okay, looks like we're right back where we were before. So we're going to go ahead and take this first left. Just to find out that's not the way to go either. And neither is this, so we, we were going the right way the whole time. Why do you think the coven does what it does? What drives people to evil? People will do anything for power. I don't know why. Power can be a terrible burden. If we just hadn't taken that right hand turn, we would have been okay. up there, just a bloated corpse. With nothing in it. So I don't know how many of you have played or have been playing World of Tanks, but they got a big special coming up on the second. So I'm going to be playing quite a bit of that for that special, because I'm going to get my, I think it's my 7th tier 10 vehicle. And I'm going to wait because they're going to be 15% off come the 2nd, which is a good deal. Tier 10 vehicles are like 6 million credits. Just over 6 million. So to get 15% off, you're looking at a really hefty sum taken off of it. So. And for any of you that do play World of Tanks, if you just uh, do a search for Boiler S66, you will find me. And uh, if you ever want a platoon or anything, all you got to do is just PM me in the game and say, hey, I'll, I'll watch your videos, you want to platoon up, and I will be glad to do that. If we have a, a room in the platoon we're already in, we'll definitely pull you in. And if you have fun with this and you're not in a clan already, and you want to join us, all you got to do is say so. World of Tanks, if you don't already play it, is a free-to-play game. It's not so free for me because I like my my toys, but I'm well again. It is totally free to play. I just spend the extra money so that I can. Uh, excuse me, I need to sneeze. One second. Hopefully that did uh, <laughs> mute. I apologize. Just one of those things you can't really help. I'm not sure what I was saying on that, but that came up as a quick surprise. No, but uh, Diablo, not Diablo, Ta World of Tanks is a very free-to-play game. So if you just go ahead and download it and get used to it, 
Eh, probably in a day's time, maybe about a three, four hour sitting, you can get yourself up to the tier fours as long as you're pushing one particular line. And for anybody who hasn't played it, the American Heavy line is a very, very good way to go. And the second to me would probably be the Russian Heavy line. But not not everybody has the same play style though. Some people like the scout tanks, the the lights. Others like the medium tanks. It, it all depends on your play style. And really, you're not going to know what your play style is until you've played the tanks. You you won't know which which way you like best until you've played it. Do you want more? Another real good one is TDs. Because you got you can hide and let everyone else spot the enemy, and you you just snipe away at them from a distance where they don't even see you. Hopefully, that's your goal anyway, is for them not to see you. That was just a taste to do that. Uh, I gotta back off a little bit. I am renewed. I hate when I run out of hatred. Okay. Something was making a lot of noise down there. Must have been something I killed. Back off a little bit, make sure I'm not in the poison. The philosopher Caddis said, if you want to know the truth of a city, you need look no further than the state of its infrastructure. Not enough hatred. Another thing you could do is uh let me know in comments as to how you found me on YouTube. Did you just do a search for Diablo 3 or any of the other games that I've got on there? Did someone tell you about it? I, I'd really like to know how you found out about my particular channel. Nothing there. It's always interesting to know how people found out about it. Myself, I f usually... F the very first one that I started watching, I found it because I started playing World of Tanks and I wanted to get a little bit better at it. And I just did a search for World of Tanks. And then I started seeing the same people pop up quite often. And I really enjoyed watching their... I didn't realize I was in a, a wall. My hatred is too low. And I really liked the way that they did their commentary and everything. So I started watching them a lot. And that would be uh, the Mighty Jingles and Side Strafe. Those two names. And they've even done videos together too. If you like seeing any of the World of Tanks stuff, I suggest watching them. They do other games as well. Uh, but World of Tanks seems to be one of their bigger ones. Uh, Jingles also does War Thunder, which is also World War II era, but it's with airplanes instead of tanks. Which I play that one as well. Never have seen him in the game, even though we're both on the EU server for War Thunder. But we're not on World of Tanks. The Chaldean aqueducts were created by order of the Trade Consortium Council after the Dalgar Oasis was discovered three centuries ago. Though Chaldeum had been prosperous for many years, a reliable source of water allowed the city to grow even further. Luxurious public fountains were built to provide safe drinking water for everyone. Oh, 
Also kind of curious if Godzuki minds the fact that I do mention his name when I talk about the games that I've, uh, that he's recommended to me and I actually put onto my channel. I never did ask if it was okay for me to use his name on my channel or not. But I like to give credit where credit's due. He gave me a very good title. And I do like playing it. I gotta keep an eye on the time and make sure I don't go very long on this one. We're real good on time right now, but I did actually look at my watch at the beginning, which is very rare for me, actually. Even though I haven't been here for years, I'll always think of Chaldea as home. Because you grew up here? That passage should lead to the desolate sands. A secret door hidden behind the waterfalls. How imaginative. You would do better. You shall see when we get to my archives. <laughs> Hello? Is there anyone alive out there? Is there anyone alive out there? Are you still alive out there? Or is it the monster? Is it? Oh, say yes if you are. Or you could clap. Now, I'm going to let him keep doing his talking thing because I've heard something about if you let him continue what he's saying, there's something about it, and I'm not sure what it is. Is anyone out there? But I just don't have the patience to do this. <laughs> I really don't. for releasing me. It was getting a little boring in there. Uh, 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 I am seeking a magic crucible that legend says was hidden in these very aqueducts. <laughs> it, it would be a valuable addition to my jeweler's tools. <laughs> Help me find it and I will be greatly indebted to you. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh. Rude of me, I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Covetous Shen. Covetous? Is that really a name? Why, yes. It's been mine as long as I can remember, and probably longer. I can't imagine why my young heart bashed me over the head and sealed me in there. This place is quite dangerous without a knowledgeable guy. You were careless to come here in the first place. How have you lived so long? I am too beautiful to kill. And you thought I was odd. We've got another tag along. It does nothing for us. Place this is. Oh, I am starving. Do you think we'll find any good food down here? Here in the aqueducts? You must be joking. Don't be ridiculous. I never joke when it comes to food. Now I wonder where my young guide got off to. His name was Gavin, I believe. Yes, that was it. He must still be around here also, uh, or perhaps he got lost? Uh, no, we're not lost, are we? 
This guy talks way too much. I'd have to say that if I was actually on this quest myself, he would be a casualty. Not necessarily to the enemy's blade. You know, it was actually quite an interesting experience to be locked up in a barrel. <laughs> I had a lot of time to think to myself. It was a little uncomfortable. Uh, Absolutely I nothing like up here. Old, that young Gavin. Yes, he was so willing to show an old man around the desert. And his company only cost me a small bag of gold per day. <laughs> he hardly complained about anything. Always a smile on his face. The crucible, it's mine. Uh, be careful, Gavin. It might be cursed. <gasps> Dear, I, I did warn him. <laughs> Uh, the crucible should be safe now. Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Uh, poor man. If I had known the crucible was cursed, I never would have brought him along. <laughs> if you come see me in Chaldeum, I can show you how the crucible can combine jewel fragments. Uh, well, you know, I've been searching for a certain jewel for a long, long time. I'm in no rush. But maybe if I go with you, I'll find it just like I found this crucible. May I come with you on your journey and make glorious jewelry for you? I could use your services. Oh, the way out is just a little farther. I am starving. Do you think we'll find any good food down here? Here in the aqueducts? You must be joking. Don't be ridiculous. I never joke when it comes to food. You go on ahead. I'm going back to town. I need to learn the spell needed to restore Cool's body. I'll meet you when you get to the archives. Okay, where are we going now? You and I are the same. But those others, the fallen angel, the witch, they're using you for their own ends. You choose to be their puppet. Yet, the power of your birthright could make you a god. I doubt that would end well. Those who seek power are often destroyed by it. There's no need to be snide. Soon enough, I'll walk this world again. Then I'll show you what a Nephilim can achieve. Okay, so we need to get the blood from two different places in this area. My archives lie beneath this desert. Perhaps even beneath the sands we now tread upon. The Haradrim could not destroy them. They could only lock the door behind them. And I still have the key. Not really anything worth much there. there. Let us cleanse it from this land. Funny, the wing just circling around there. You can't hit those birds when they're flying, so you gotta wait for them to come down on your level. Oh 
man. This guy's Impossible. really making it tough. But I require aid. So glad to be done with him. Boy, he was kicking my butt. is too low. I haven't had to use this many health potions in a long time. Hello birds, come on down and see me. We, the Zakarum, have endeavored to make Chaldeum a city of mercy and salvation, but we have not yet been able to convince the emperors to change the ancient policy of exile. Prisoners convicted of treason are still sent to the desolate sands to die with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Beasts would only hunt here if they were starving. Belial has withered these lands. You know, Belial is the first one you come up, you come to, but. It seems to me that, that he's actually harder to fight than Asmodan, which is your second boss. Normally your second boss is actually tougher. Normally. But for some reason, in this game it doesn't work out that way. Unless it's just the fact that you've leveled up so much that it makes it seem like he's easier. I am not 100% sure on that. Now, if it was possible to fight them both at the same level, then you'd be able to judge, but really you, you can't. There's no way. Because they're, they're so far apart that you're gonna level up. I mean, there's, there's no way to avoid it. I was not close to that poison, but yet somehow it got me. That path that you've seen going off to the left, you might say, well, why come you didn't go down that way? Because we have to go to the f other two places before we can go down that way. In thousands of years of records, I cannot find a single account of a prisoner surviving exile to the desolate sands. 
The wastes are littered with bones that have been picked dry by the endlessly circling bloodhawks or desperate lacuni. Those who die there meet their end without the sanctity of the light. Some of my blood is within that cave. And I didn't let him speak. The pall of silence lays heavily here. I believe with this soul stone, I will finally be able to unlock the true power of man. In ancient times, our kind possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. With the soul stone, I will be able to elevate myself to the strength of my ancestors. Betrays you. My hatred is too low. So every once in a while, it's just a good thing to go ahead and when you see all there's a whole bunch of them coming, just keep firing until all of your hatred is gone, and hope you killed them all. Which is precisely what I did. Overburdened. Ah, too much stuff. So, let's see, we'll get rid of that, because that's something we don't need to carry with us. Chip Topaz, I think I can pick that up, because we already have one, and they'll, they'll stack. So how about we go ahead and head back to uh, Town Portal, get rid of this stuff, and start over. Start afresh, as you will. Check real quick and see if any of this stuff is any good to us. That gives more life, but it takes away a lot of damage. We don't want to use that. This uh, doesn't help us one bit. What about the ring? Takes away a lot of damage as well. Everything takes away from damage. I don't know. I, I like the fact that that cloak gives us a whole lot of life. But it takes away a lot of damage. Let's see if we have anything at all that gives us dexterity. This one does, but it's 22... And that's... I thought that was socketed. I was wrong. Could have swore that was socketed. And unfortunately, you can't make them socketed. Ah, it was the pants that are socketed. Okay, so nothing helps us a bit. So we'll just go ahead and salvage some of it, sell some of it. We'll salvage all the ones with X's. How about that? Choose my skill. Yes, I will choose your skill here in a moment. Let's see if we can get the next hand crossbow yet. And no, we cannot. Not till level 28. We're only 21. We have a ways to go yet. What about armor? Can we get any of the second armors? We can do this one. But if it doesn't give us dexterity, then it's a waste. But it's worth a try. And it did. It helped us a bunch. That's good. Bracers. No, not the second one yet. Not the gloves. A lot of these are going to go way up. Oh, looky here. Yep, let's try it. 
all that takes away a lot of damage. However, we did have the dexterity gem that we might be able to put in there. So let's just put that down in the corner. Don't need a shield. We can get the second shoulder, but I it's, don't think it's going to be as good as the other one. Okay, so there's that. Pay to get that done. Let's go back over here. Grab the one that gives us dexterity. Oh, it's a helm now. Uh-oh. That's not going to work. Nope, that's going to take away too much damage. We can't use it on a, as a helm. But we can throw something in there. And put it in our stash. Um, how about this? Stash that away. We'll wear this. Sell that. Now we're getting into what we have already stashed away for a rainy day. Now's where we're going to add our more dexterity. Gives us a whole bunch of damage. Um, let's see, we'll wear these gloves. I kind of feel this is almost like cheating. Almost. This is what I really want to get. If you notice that, plus 90.7 damage. We can't use that till level 26, but you better believe if I get a chance to use that one, I will. This one's almost as good at level 27, but I think... Well, because it gives you life as well, that might be a good one to, to, to take over this one. Anyway, I'm getting kind of uh, out of what we're here to do, so let's go ahead and see what this little girl's got. New goods. I can't believe what people throw away. I want to buy some of it. No, but I will sell you all of this stuff. She does not have any of the good go go juice. There ain't no guy. I sell things for cheap because I will just take them off your body again when you are dead. You think no. so, huh? I know I look through these kind of quick, but I know what where to look. If you look down here on the stats ch that changes if equipped, if everything is red, you don't want it. So that's why I always look at that, and I can go quickly. Like this one here, it's going to take away 170 life and give you the extra 6.8 damage. But taking away that life the way I've been getting whooped up on is not a good idea. So let's go back where we were and continue on down our path. Oh, I forgot. She wants us to level her up. Powered armor increases armor and slows attacking enemies for you and the enchantress or reduces damage from range attacks for you and the enchantress. Get off me. Um. Oh, that's a good cho decision. I don't think I've ever made that choice before. I 
think I want to go with the powered armor. I so long for that. Who reminds me of the mages from my era? They were that insufferable? Worse. They were the first to summon demons into the world. Look, just over there. I never imagined such a creature. I think I've done very well with this particular weapon here. Along with the other stuff that gives it the extra damage. It makes very quick work of them now. Okay, I'm not sure which way I should go here. So I'm gonna go this way first. I guess I made the right choice because all we have to do is backtrack now. Had to check that corner, see if there's anything there. Okay, now we have to consult the map. Which way do we not go? And it's all the way around there. Okay, easy enough. And it looks like I'm just about running out of time, so whenever we get through this, get our one item and get back up top, I think that's where we're going to have to stop. We're still only on level one, though. This might run a little long. I hate to stop in the middle of something. I really, really do. Shadows deepen. We must be getting close. Hopefully this is only two levels deep. I don't remember myself. Darkness. 
Vengeance awaits you. Not enough hatred. And I picked up something I didn't want. No big deal. We'll just open up the inventory and throw it out. I see riches ahead. Really? What's Rich's last name? Okay. Let's go ahead and f check a look at that inventory and grab that out. Throw it down. We're still not finding a really, really good belt yet. I don't know why we haven't come across one. That's okay. Hopefully we're close to the end of this one. I really, really do hope it's not another level deep. I don't mind making them long. I could make them for, you know, an hour or anything. But I really don't want you to have to be sit there watching for that long. If you don't mind them being longer, if you really, really want me to just go... Uh, one quest at a time, no matter the distance. Let me know, and I'll just go ahead and continue. But I just feel that you'd get bored with it after sitting there watching the same one for that long. You know, you want to go on and do something else. You know, you don't mind taking half hour, 45 minutes out of your time and watching something like this. But I don't know about. Any, if you're going to watch it for hours, you want to be the one playing it, right? But I'm going to let you tell me what it is you want. And I will go from there. Because some of these quests really do get long. Especially with things that they've added. You won't survive that. Okay, so we've got the first blood. We'll go ahead and go up top. Kill whatever is close by. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. I'm going to continue on, though, in right on into the next one. Go ahead and make it. That way I don't lose any of what we've already got. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will continue to watch them. If there's something that you don't dislike about it, make sure you put it in the comments. That way I know and I can change what I'm doing. Or if, if there's something that you want mo to hear more about when I'm doing my videos, let me know that as well. Again, if you know of any good free-to-play games that uh, you want to see me do, feel free to go ahead and put that in the comments as well. But for now, I will see you all on the next one, which I'm actually taping here in a, just a few minutes. See you later, everyone.